Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.4 Lumen versus Path Tracing. Now, I get a lot of questions on the channel, obviously, and one of the questions I get the most is, why do I render in Path Tracing so much? So instead of just talking about the reasons why I render in Path Tracing a lot, let me go ahead and show you a very good example as to why I do it. Now, first things first, I know people are going to call me out on this saying this is clickbait. This is not 5.4. It is. So if I go to help right here and go to about Unreal Editor, you're going to see right here, this is 5.4. Again, this is a beta I downloaded a couple of months back whenever I made the short film, which by the way, if you haven't seen this short film, go check it out. I think it's pretty cool. We made it in like an hour and a half or two hours. It's pretty amazing. I really liked it. I still get messages every now and then asking really what happened in this short. Pretty cool. I'll put the link in the top right corner in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this piece right here, specifically this shot. Now, when I was writing this short and kind of blocking it out in my head, I knew I wanted the characters to have a shot from the back, like a back shot pushing in, like you saw in the movie. And when I was shopping around on the marketplace for this environment right here, I fell in love with this bar right here because as you can see, it's pretty dynamic. Obviously, I added some stuff in there to make it a little bit more cinematic or whatever, but I love the bottles in front of the character. But at the same token, I knew it wasn't going to look good in Lumen. Now, by the way, this is just my two cents. If you think this looks great and it's good on you, this is my opinion. I think I should be entitled with my own opinion. So the glasses on the back, the bottles on the back, you're looking at it right now in cinematic mode, real time in Lumen. I can pop open the actual FPS so you can see that we're running about 35 frames per second in Lumen. So this is, you know, real time, I would say. And to be honest, some of y'all might think that the bottles look fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But to me, I just wanted it to look a little bit better. And that is why I rendered this scene, this shot in path tracing. So we're going to swap over real quick. I'm going to go to the top left corner, path tracing. Now this is going to be resolving. So you're not going to see it clean, but I'm going to show you what it looks like later in DaVinci Resolve. But immediately right away, you're going to notice a couple of things. First things first, the whole scene gets a little bit brighter, which makes sense because I set the exposure for path tracing in mind. But additionally, you're going to start seeing some more specular highlights or hotspots, whatever you want to call it. Now, these right here are not in the Lumen version whatsoever. Right? If I flip it over, again, it's resolving. It's going to be noisy. And overall, right away, I know that this is going to look good in a path trace render. And again, I'm showing you this because whenever you're making short films in Unreal Engine, you might have to render some scenes in path tracing. Now, honestly, though, I wish I had the hardware to render the entire thing in path tracing, but unfortunately, that's just not possible. So there is nothing that says that you have to render just with one render option. Lumen, ray tracing, and path tracing. So for this short, which is kind of funny, people didn't even realize that it mixed Lumen with path tracing, which is good in a way because as a creator, as a storyteller, I don't want people to notice all this stuff. This is more just like for me. I just want everything to look good whenever people watch it. I want it to look good, but it's not really a secret. That's why I'm making this video. Yes, I absolutely mix and match rendering whenever I am in Unreal Engine 5. That being said, what I'm going to do is show you now what this actually looks like rendered and the Lumen version rendered as well. So here we go in the Vinci Resolve. I have my timeline in here and I have them stacked on top of each other and I'll control F to make this bigger. Now, just looking at this right now, you can already tell which one's path tracing and which one's not path tracing because of the stuff that I mentioned earlier. So let me play this back. And I'm going to pause right about there. Looking at it side by side, you are going to absolutely notice the difference between Lumen and path tracing. And the question that you really have to ask yourself is, hey, are those specular highlights, are, are, are the bottles in the background really that important to you? Well, by looking at this image right here, to me, the answer was absolutely yes. And what's crazy about this is I didn't even feed this 
a lot of samples. Not even, because obviously I didn't want to wait like a month to render it. So the difference, look at these bottles, all right? Look at these spec highlights that's completely missing in the lumen. And eventually I'm hoping for one day, and by the way, this is hardware ray tracing. This is not software, lumen uh, ray tracing. This is hardware, okay? I just want to throw that out. And then another thing that's cool about the is since I shot this with an anamorphic camera in Unreal Engine 5, we actually got some pretty nice depth of field, some bokeh depth of field. And if you've been with me for a while, you absolutely know that I love anamorphic uh, oval bokeh like this, all right? That's totally missing in the lumen, but right here just looks much more cinematic to me. It just gives you a little bit more, I don't know, ambiance, I guess, if you will. I know that's kind of like a nerdy term. And again, I'll play this back. Because this is how the scene started. It was a depth to field shot like this, and it was a rack focus while pushing in. And to me, man, that day or two or three of rendering extra to get that detail was definitely, definitely worth it. That's pretty much it for this video. I am going to be doing a lot more breakdowns in my shorts. I know people have been asking me about this. And additionally, I'm going to be continuing on my Unreal Engine 5 filmmaking tips here shortly. So y'all can see kind of like my process, my thought process, my lighting, all that stuff. And then speaking of lighting, uh, my Unreal Engine 5 lighting course right now is 50% off with a coupon code New Year's on ArtStation. So it's $20. It actually got featured by ArtStation because it's a pretty darn good introduction to lighting in Unreal Engine. I showed you static lighting, dynamic lighting, lumen hardware ray tracing. I talked about hardware ray tracing here. I talked about it there. So if you're very new to Unreal Engine 5, man, it is a jam-packed Unreal Engine 5 lighting course that I think you should take. Because honestly, during my consulting, people are paying me more to troubleshoot their scenes versus them just go and buy in that course and learn everything that I'm telling them during my consulting phase. So if you're trying to consult me for a lighting question, you might as well just go ahead and pay for that course. That being said, I hope everybody is doing well. Holiday season's right around the corner. I hope everybody's being safe. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.